Hi guys, this is Caitlin from Charles Gunn Toyota and with summer in full swing, the last thing you want is a flat tire ruining your road trip or summer vacation. So we have one of our service experts here to tell you all about how you can change your flat while you're on the road. On a fairly regular basis, maybe once a week or so, it's a good idea to do a little walk around of your vehicle and just give a visual check over of the general condition of your tires. Check to see if you can find anything protruding like a nail or anything like that and if the tire looks like it's getting a little bit low it's good to invest in a little two dollar tire pressure gauge that you can get at most gas stations just to check and see um, you know the, the level of the air inside of your tires. The numbers that are listed on the side of your tire usually pertain more to the maximum amount of weight for a maximum amount of air that the tire can hold while still running. Um, if you were to fill it past what the actual vehicle specification is for its own weight, that's when you can start to experience accelerated wear or you know, weird wear patterns that shouldn't be there for the tire, either in the center of the tread or in the corner of the tread as well. So to start with, always make sure that you have the proper tools to use for your jack stand. So the place that we want to jack the car up by is called the pinch weld. You can find it on the underside of this, uh, this rav here. You can see two small grooves indicating the point where it's best to jack the vehicle up from. So before we take all the weight off of this one tire, we want to use the weight of the vehicle and the traction of the tire to keep the wheel steady while we take off the bolts. Some symptoms that you might notice while you're driving if you have an excessively flat tire is a lack of acceleration or a little bit of a drag while you're trying to pick up. And if it's in the front and it's excessively bad, you might feel it pulling in a direction as well too. Usually when these things happen, it's a good idea to pull over, come out and just kind of take, a, take an eyeball at all the individual tires to see if you notice anything that's badly out of place. It's important to note that these donuts are not full size wheels. They basically have enough in them just to get you to the place where you need to go to have your tire repaired or replaced. Alright guys, so once again, those are the basics of how to change a flat tire. Before you take off on any major road trips, make sure you have your spare tire and all the hardware that you might need just in case of an emergency. And also make sure you're in a safe, flat space before you make an attempt to change your tire. When you purchase a new Toyota from Charles Glenn, it comes with three years of Toyota roadside assistance. So that one quick phone call and you get someone out to change your tire for you. If you have any service questions you'd like to see answered in one of our videos, comment below or send us an email at marketing at You can come see us in Calgary's Northwest Auto Mall or online at gettoyota.com.